WWE Hall of Famer Scott Hall passes away at 63 years old. The WWE and WCW stars suffered three heart attacks Saturday after surgery complications. Hey there everyone, I'm Denise Salcedo and you're watching the latest. Today on WWE Raw, they announced at the top of the show that Scott Hall had passed away. Here is what we know what happened and also some highlights from his career. Take a look. WWE announced Hall's passing with a graphic at the top of Monday's Raw broadcast and on social media at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Scott Hall was taken off of live support early Monday after suffering three heart attacks Saturday. He had been in a Georgia hospital since March 1st after he sustained a broken hip that required surgery. A blood clot got loose last week and Hall developed serious complications that led to the heart attacks. A pro since 1984, Hall gained national prominence as Razor Ramon in the then WWF in 1992. Influenced by the Tony Montana and Manny Ribera characters from the 1983 movie Scarface, Hall eventually became a top act in the company, feuding with other stars like Randy Savage and then WWF champion Bret Hart. He also had memorable storylines and matches with Shawn Michaels, which led to the famous ladder match at WrestleMania 10, and Shawn Waltman, the 1-2-3 kid. He and WWE clickmate Kevin Nash left for WCW with Hall making a surprise appearance on a May 1996 episode of Monday Nitro. Nash appeared a month later and formed the tag team The Outsiders, which eventually led to Hulk Hogan turning heel at that year's Bash at the Beach and the launch of the NWO with Waltman eventually joining them. Hall would remain with the company until 2000, leaving with seven tag team title reigns and two U.S. title reigns to his credit. Hall, Nash, and Hogan eventually made their way back to WWE, reviving the NWO in 2002. His stay didn't last long as he was released following the plane ride from hell in May 2002. Hall was fired stemming from both his actions on the plane and his ongoing battles with substance abuse. Hall's post-WWE and WCW career would take him to stops in ECW, New Japan Pro Wrestling, TNA, the World Wrestling Council, and even Juggalo Championship Wrestling. He was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame twice, once for his run as Razor Ramon and then as part of the NWO. He made a handful of on-screen appearances since 2014, mainly in DX and NWO reunion segments with fellow Click members Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Kevin Nash, and Sean Waltman. His aforementioned struggles with substance abuse and the resulting health and legal issues were well documented. His friend and former WCW stablemate Diamond Dallas Page attempted to help Hall through his DDP yoga program, seen in the resurrection of the Jake the Snake documentary. Hall also had done rehab through the WWE wellness program. Hall was married twice and has both a son and a daughter from those marriages. Scott Hall will always be a legend for everything that he did throughout his career. Go ahead and let us know some of your favorite memories, matches, quotes in the comments section below. Rest in peace, Scott Hall, and we send his friends, family, and fans lots of love.